adopted hello all today i come up with uh, one more interesting topic how to execute uh, our apm test cases on the cloud platforms all right cloud platforms means like a saas labs and process tech all right why we required why we need to execute suppose all right if i want to execute my scripts on multiple uh, platforms and uh, multiple devices multiple versions right it is very difficult suppose if you want to execute my script on android android platform right like different mobiles realme redmi right samsung right nokia right these many mobiles i want to run right android version different version 14 15 right it is very difficult we will not get those many right in the real time right it is very budget and we cannot also connect to our system to execute our test those many devices it will take lot of time right ios similarly if i want to execute in ios platform in ios right 14 15 16 right we cannot get those many mobiles right so it is best option is cloud cloud platforms cloud platforms we can execute on any right platform any right versions today i will show you how to execute apm test cases on saas labs all right from end to end right first we have to create the saas lab account all right first we have to create the saas lab account right for that right saas lab account if you want to create just to open the browser right we can open this in the browser https://saaslab.com right i will provide in the youtube description comment right the description section please if you, if you open also directly right in the open the google and saas lab saas labs login then we can create here we first we have to create the account by using either github or google gmail right it is very simple to create by using the gmail right just to click on that right click on your gmail account or right enter username password right it will create once it is created it will open saas labs dashboard right saas lab dashboard will be like this right on top we will have a get started guide right either we can do manual testing automation visible testing right and now we are going to see automation testing only in automation also it will support selenium espresso cypress right ipm xyz test play right different right different tools right then we can click on apm right which language we can choose it will support python c sharp node js java currently if you have specific app you can choose right if you have any specific app right you can choose the file and uh, upload it to the saas lab or otherwise it will provide some default apps we can <coughs> we can use it right this is the one thing apk for android apk right build name build name is just a regression name right a regression one regression two like like that build name we can give any name right then it will come some default names what is platform android right then it will give the this app name whatever app name we have selected or uploaded right it will store in the saas lab this apk file will be stored in the saas labs right uh, then uh, device name right here it is giving some emulator default name we can go with that right i will tell you how to choose this names also right device name platform version android version right android device name version automation name is ui automator 2 right for apm for android ui automator 2 is the driver automation name then we have to give the username access key username and access key how to get the username and access key on the top we have a account right just click on it this is the username right if you click on user settings right then come down right here you will get access key right the username and access key you can get from the profile right then a uh, build a build number we can give anything test case name what is the test case name device orientation either we can give portrait or landscape then we can add capabilities saas options keys 
then source option whatever we have added we have to add to the capabilities main object right this is uh, supported by 1.x version this format is supported by 1.x apm 1.x right apm 2.x if you want to execute right i will show you that also the android driver right here we have to give driver and then what is the url right this is the source of url and then url and capabilities then once it is done we have to driver dot execute script source job uh, right source lab result this is the script we have to send to source lab after execution of test case whether our test case is pass or fail right just uh, we'll see right if you want to execute uh, 2.x right uh, little bit uh, right uh, structure will change right first we will create the mutable objects mutable capability objects mutable capability object right mutable capability object and then we can set uh, same thing app platform name device name platform version and right, this is the real device right i am using a this is a real device and then real device means source lab real device not my uh, i am not connected to any laptop this is the source lab real device right uh, virtual how to get it i will show you right here ui automator 2 here we have to create in 1.x we will create a here also notable notable capability object but for source option in 2.x we have to create the hash map hash map then we have to set the hash map apm version what is the apm version we want to use username access key build build anything we can give name this is the name of the test case any name we can give right then source options then add this map to capabilities right then android test right we have to create the url source lab url and then android driver pass the capabilities after execution right uh, just time setting whether it is a pass or fail and then quit the driver just let me execute it run as a test ng test Right, we can hear in the open the source lab app, the browser in the test result. Right, we can see this is the Android test now still queued. I think by default we will get see on top we will get 57 one hour 60 minutes we will get 60 minutes execution time we will get. Right, right once we triggered just refresh it it is still queued. Right, maybe I am using real device. Right, maybe someone also using same means it will wait for okay done it's done execution right we can see see it is open the device right it is opening the app right that demo app right this is open right uh, like this it will open we, here we can see Right, see uh, what are the video logs, network logs, right, and device information, and then metadata, right, uh, related to device. Right, we can see all those things. Right, uh, now we will see browser, how to execute Android browser. Android browser. Here I am using emulator. Here I am using emulator. Right, this is a one point X. It will work in one point X APM one point X. Right, just to only change is browser name Chrome. Right, app path we will remove. That's it. Here we have given a app. Right, this app we will remove and then we will keep it as a browser name. This one. That's it. Here I am showing emulator. Version is twelve. Right, previously we have seen real device and emulator. I will show you how to get these details. Right, uh, this is just uh, remaining everything will be same here. Dry, just driver dot get to open the google dot com. Right, just execute. Right, open the test results again. Right, see running Android browser test. Uh, right, it will take uh, little time to load the device. 
right it is loaded right this is the emulator right just we are launching the browser and uh, opening the google.com that's it right anyway execution little bit slow only right because these are all devices let's see open it is open the browser right it is done it will close now similarly right similarly we can execute in the ios also ios ios <coughs> only capabilities will change that's it right capabilities only it will change right in the get started go to first tab get a starting guide automation testing android here we can choose the ios uh, AP, right uh, ipfi right extension will be for android it is a apk here apk right it will stored until 60 days right 60 days it will be there right then uh, choose if we have all otherwise it will provide some app i have installed one right uh, uh, sas lab is uh, this is the default one provided by sas labs ipfi sas labs ipfi otherwise you can download one ipfi file from the google and upload to here right <clears throat> then only here it will what it will change here just the capabilities will change that's it right here suppose i was right right same first we will create the mutable mutable capability object we have to give the app right the app name storage colon file name equal to app name platform name is, here is ios what is the platform version 18.3 and device name iphone 15 right here automation activate test right these things uh, key keys will be same only right but uh, values will change right uh, ios 8.3 ios 15 activate test this is down name of the test is ios test just i have given ios test remaining everything will be same only build number we will change anything we can give test case name remaining these three will be same only maybe if it is compatible we have to choose fpm version also compatible with this device or not then only it will execute right now run it again Let right, you come to automated and test results. Automated test results. Right, it is cured. Just to open it, you can click on it. Device will be available shortly. Please stand. Right, if these are all, uh, real, uh, real device, right, I am executing it. Will, maybe someone is executing. Once it is done, it will go. Right, what is the version? 18.3 iPhone 15. okay fine it will execute meanwhile we will see in the browser also the right uh, uh, browser browser means what it will change only safari right ios will support safari browser right safari we can just remaining everything will be same only remaining everything will be same only this is we will delete this app we don't require any app right directly on the browser just we need to add browser name equal to safari that's it Right, this test case was done. Right, this test case execution was done. Right, it is opened the see app. Yeah, it is opened in the uh, iOS app. Right, similarly, if we execute right this one, right browser, right uh, Safari browser. Right, uh, where it will execute? Uh, this is a simulator. Right. Previously we used a real device. It is simulator then version. Okay, it is running. Alright, it is running. Video will show in little time. It will take to load that simulator.
Right, like this we can write, uh, we can uh, execute on source lab with the Android uh, apps or iOS app, real apps or simulators. Right, real apps or uh, simulators, we can automate it. Um, something is displaying here. Okay, see it is open simulator and then uh, it will open the Safari browser and it will open the Google right uh, it will be always a little bit slow only right in the devices execution right it is open the so still it is taking you see safari browser it is open and google.com right just like this we can execute on the cloud to cloud platform source labs right then here if you want to see app management we can go to app management here whatever you we have installed apps right it will be here right it will be here you can uh, right we can i think delete or we can share to someone else if you want right then uh, live right if you want to do the live suppose mobile app which right which mobiles are available right for android for 15 version see there is no real devices maybe 14 we can take the 14 right it is available one device for 13 there is nothing available 12 no 11 no right only for 14 one device is available if you want these devices i think your right we have to upgrade our plan only for a free plan they have given just 14 one device Right, otherwise uh, while selecting the get started they have given one emulator right one emulator we have to use those emulators. otherwise see here mobile virtuals right android what is the emulator google api emulator we have android version right for ios the apple ios 15 these are the simulators emulators and simulators so we can use these things right from here we can get the that version and device name a device name and a version we can get from virtual if you want to hear here mobile means we can get from here right like this right i think it will be more useful to you similarly we can execute on browser stack also right right if you like my way of teaching and the content i presented please write subscribe to the channel comment it out and share to your friends thanks for watching